All right, this is the Mobility Scooter Tank. It's got a Harbor Freight motor, a six and a half horsepower, and it's got a CVT transmission right here. I've got a jack shaft right down in here. Um, it's got a 17 tooth on the primary and, uh, let's see, no, I'm sorry, 12 tooth on the primary, 17 on the jack shaft input. And then there's a 10 tooth on the drive going to a differential. So I got a differential here with a 40 tooth on it. Disc brakes, they're um, <clears throat> cable actuated calipers. All right, and they go up to the handlebars. These are off of the um, mobility scooter, although I lengthened them three inches on each side because they were too narrow. None of these switches work, they're just here for effect. Actually, this switch is bad, otherwise, I would have used it to start and stop the motor. So, um, see, as far as the uh, wheels are concerned, I've got a dozen of these Harbor Freight $4 pneumatic tires. This uh, drive wheel here is uh, from a golf cart. So it's eight inch diameter here. And what I'm using is a friction drive. Now this is nothing but a 33 inch uh, truck tire. That's that. Let me show you here. Um, I just uh, cut the center out, cut the tread out, and this tape is here to guide me as I was using this sawzall to uh, cut the tire, the tread out to make the tank tracks. Um, anyways, um, I did the frame in three pieces and then connected them all. So I did a frame here. This is a subframe that held the tires, keep them all straight. Now this has a slide that allows me to put tension on this wheel, or rather the, uh, the track. And so I uh, just welded a nut on here and that's all that is. Um, so I can put tension on this. It's not, doesn't have to be real tight. You can see it's real floppy here. And that's uh, because I've got all this surface area here where the tire makes uh, friction. It's the, all the surface area here and here is what drives this wheel. And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about this thing? It's Well, it's just a mobility scooter. I took the uh, frame and started... Um, well, uh, just took a mobility scooter apart. It was my mom's and uh started adding stuff <laughs> but uh this is the other subframe <clears throat> uh so I, I did three subframes it was this frame that holds the wheels frame that holds this, the mobility scooter and the engine and jack shaft and everything and then what well, once i everything everything is based on the tire that you use as a track um its uh, circumference. So all the measurements came off of the tires that I found and they, I got them for free from a used tire dealer and um, anyways I turned these in. Now you'll see that I've got holes drilled in this that was because originally I was gonna sprocket drive this uh, and build a sprocket to drive it up there but uh, the sprocket didn't work out too well so um, I ditched that and uh, what it is is uh, if you look in the CVT uh, there's just a skinny little belt in there that drives this whole thing. It's got enough surface area and grip to drive the entire cart or any cart. <clears throat> so I looked at this and said oh my god there's a lot more surface area here. So I really don't even have to have this on here very tight, and it drives pretty well. So that's a kind of a quick walkthrough on this, and uh, hope you like it, and maybe it'll inspire you to build, build your own uh, tank track vehicle or mobility scooter, in my case. Take care, and good luck.